Well, hey everybody, what's going on? Uh, Rob Satram here. I'm doing this crimple weight loss challenge. I got a crimple YouTube channel and then uh, cripple.com is our blog where I'm just uploading the YouTube videos that I've got there. So long story short, um, it's day 146. My last weigh-in was on like day 125 or something like that. At that point, I was at 332.7. And over the last 20 days, here's what I started doing. I started doing intermittent fasting, which has been sweet. The whole idea is that you don't eat in the mornings, you don't eat in the afternoons, you start eating like four or five o'clock, you stop eating at like eight o'clock. And by compressing all your food eating consumption into like a, uh, a four hour window, um, basically you get to feel more full. And I tend to overeat at night, so this intermittent fasting lets me consume most of my calories at night, which is really helpful and I really like it. So I want to keep this fun and, and lighthearted, but um, I went down to 328.7 this uh, doing this intermittent fasting. Also over the last month or about a month, I've lost a whole inch on my stomach. I'm really starting to feel like the internal fat. I know I don't know if that's called visceral fat, but the stuff that's not on the outside, the outside stuff's going down, but the inside stuff I can tell is starting to, to go down. So I know that, um, I'll show you some pictures here. I'm definitely starting to lose the roundness um, compared to before, that's not like, it's not gone. I know that's a fact. So 332 to 328 over the last 20 some odd days, been doing this intermittent fasting for about 10 days where basically I don't eat um, except for a four hour window at night. And when I do it, I've been eating these giant salads, like a whole bag of lettuce with a bunch of croutons and then a light balsamic vinaigrette. So I'm filling up on a bunch of greens, which I know is good. Um, the other thing is I started lifting weights. So I decided that I'm only going to do stuff that I like in the gym, which means lifting weights, playing basketball, going for walks, doing some ab work, but nothing too crazy. And I just don't want to dread going to the gym. One of the things I dread, I don't know about you, but I definitely dread leg day, uh, leg day. And I also hate deadlifts. Now I know they're like the badass lifts that you need to do and I built my strength back in the day. I'm doing those, but I've been kind of hesitant to do it again. But this last couple weeks, I got back at it, started to squat again. And I had been doing leg presses and body squats just to keep things simple. But you know, the first week I did 225 for four sets of 12. The next week I did 225 for two sets of 15 and then 250 for uh, two sets of 15 and then I did the same thing again. So I'm not going super heavy. I wanna be really careful. I've got little injuries in my hips, in my, my big hips and in my back and different things like that. So I'm just trying not to like kill myself. Now here's the other thing. I started running, jogging, just a little bit. And when you're jogging, when you haven't been jogging, it actually doesn't feel so bad. But then the day after you jog, your feet hurt, ankles hurt, calves hurt, everything hurts and I don't love that so um, I've been trying to ease in and out of that stretching my my legs quite a bit you know it's just 328 pounds is a ton of weight to be you know putting on your feet and running but I know my body responds well to running so uh, I know I've been playing basketball before that's great I love shooting around I'm feeling a lot better so anyways that's it 328.7 I'm on week 20 Ah, 21 I think and uh, day 146 we're heading in the right direction please subscribe to the channel I appreciate any encouragement you have share the video like the video leave a comment tell me what I should be trying and what I shouldn't be trying and appreciate the time guys crimple.com is the blog too thank you